Welcome back, TaxCon. <clears throat> Where do we leave off? I have no idea. Um, I remember we're building our Skulljack. Uh, we're, we're making contact with the region. We have one infiltration out in the field, I believe. It looks like just one. Increased <clears throat> on chance to turn misses into grazes. Unfortunate. Okay, workshop's done. The additional work give me an engineer we'll make sure <clears throat> and this gives me two gremlins okay so let's get this engineer out of here uh, we could do the upgrade for decreased um, covert action timing eventually we have a while to the supply drop so that won't happen. Uh, let's do this then. So gremlin here. This will rush out projects pretty quick. We don't have any available after that though. Does this actually achieve anything realistically? Because like six days. I guess it. we get the skulljack done quickly. And go from there. Blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye okay. on so we got nothing going on there. Uh, the infirmary. So how long do you have? I guess we can't really see. Oh wait, maybe the hover. Nope. Um, sorry, you had an upgrade. What is your upgrade? Instantly restore a soldier. Interesting. And do we have any more tactics available to us? I think it's just lightning strike we've held off on. Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, coronal rank major rank. Yeah, I, I always get confused by those at first. <clears throat> so we have an un uh, engineer that's not doing anything. Um, we don't need power. I guess we'll just stick them in a haven. Decreasing project times further doesn't make any sense. Should I have built this training center somewhere else? I feel like I was supposed to build this somewhere else. I might have fucked that up. Maybe I never properly planned that. Maybe I didn't know that in the first place. I don't know. What else can we build? So we've got a shielded power coil here. So I guess ultimately if we ever put in a second workshop, it would be like maybe here and then it could staff three or go by the shielded power coil. Um... Yeah, so ultimately the next thing we probably need to build is comms, I would imagine. So we put a comms in. See, now here's the thing. If I put a power relay here, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. So the comms can go here or it can go here, and it makes no difference. Because either we'd put a workshop here or we'd put a workshop here. Either way, we could staff a power coil with comms. So we'll put it here because we haven't built this power coil yet. So we put a workshop here, then it can staff the existing power relay, which I don't think is going to be much of a thing. I don't think we'll build a second workshop. I just want to account for the possibility um, of doing it. Honestly, maybe I don't even care about this workshop at the end of the day. I guess we can always remove it in the future when we have more engineers. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. And if we upgrade this, it's an additional staff slot as well. Yeah, you know what? This isn't bad, actually. This does give us some decent options. So, yes. One engineer held back. We'll go stick him in a haven. Um, I don't remember what engineers did. So, we've got strength 2, strength 2, strength 2. If we stick an engineer in here... What do you do? I don't remember. All right. I'm going to check some things. I'm going to pause the recording, actually. Okay, so engineer is supplies. Um, and I don't think we need to reorganize any of the distribution of our dudes in any of these things. So let's get the engineer off of this one. Um, since it affects supplies, I'm assuming it matters... Um, 
how many people are actually on supply in a region. So yeah, everything is at advent strength two right now. So I think we can just keep everything the same way it's set up. And I think that'll be fine. Uh, I consider moving some more people to Intel because this is dropped now. But I don't think we will because we're already kind of depleted. Or maybe this was not the one that was heavily noticed. I think it was, though. Eh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. Everything's good. Uh, mechanized Warfare development complete. Ah, so we got a spark. I liked the robots from uh, the previous game much better. Enemy within, enemy unknown. I never remember which one is which. Um, okay. Yeah. We can't do a new, new project there. Three days for psionics there. Let's take a look at our spark. Um, view soldiers. And I do need to do look at squad stuff too at some point. I keep forgetting to well, I keep not really having a good opportunity to do that. Cause then we want to look at promoting officers. But I need to like organize my squads. I'm hoping I can get a decent I guess I could just not take missions and let the one we have in the field expire. Get not expire, like get get done, get finished. And then I'll have everybody back, and we can look at actually organizing some squads between episodes. Um, and officers, or where? Train officer abilities. So we pick somebody as an officer. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to look at that later. All right, let's look at our spark here. Um, five days... This covert action's almost done. Yeah, so I could just not send a covert action right away, and then this infiltration will be done a few days later, and it'll put me in a position to, like, have everybody on the Avenger. Even if they're wounded, I can look at them fully and figure out everything I want to do. So I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to let everything kind of reset. Um, we're going to keep an eye on this infiltration, too, and see if we can go kind of early on it. That might be good as well. Um, so where's my spark? I assume it's way down here somewhere. Spark 01. Uh, okay, so we've got overdrive, standard stuff. Equip and fire heavy weapons, immune to damage, and hack. All right, uh, weapon upgrade stuff. Well, you could probably use some sort of ammo. I think we'll give you the auto loader. We've got a lot of attachments here. I didn't realize we picked up so many recently. Well, definitely have to put an auto loader on this. A scope probably would be decent to offset the penalties from overdrive. So we might as well just give them a scope, honestly. Um, let's look at abilities. So, sparks don't get any specialized abilities. Okay, that's expected. I'm inclined to go towards the gun focus stuff, Shredder, Adaptive Aim. So I think we will give him the scope. I think that makes sense. Um, and I assume their stats, maybe their stats are randomized. Aim 67 seems really arbitrary as a standardized starting stat. So I'm assuming they're randomized like the soldiers are. We'll give this a scope. Um, and then I want to look at the customization for fun. So, I'm assuming we don't have too much, or possibly nothing new added. We're going to go Terminator style, though. Um, because, yes. Yeah, so it's basically just all the usual stuff. Pads or no pads. No pads, thank you. I hate the padding. Give me a nice... 
Terminator is silver. Maybe. It's a little bit more white than silver. It never really gets like chrome. It always looks white or just dark. Alright, we'll go for more of a gray then. How about... Uh, I think I kind of like this up here most. Yeah, that's not bad. And the secondary is just all the little fringy bits. Honestly, aesthetically, ignoring the Terminator styling, the red looks good. It also matches the eyes, which is fun. What is the darkest color? Probably you. All right, that'll be that'll be fine. Um, What's the, is it just the nickname? I guess it's just the nickname. This is a reference to a RimWorld series. Oh, the last name is Spark, got it. Sure, that's fine. All right, 800A. All right, let's go look at that infiltration. We'll knock that mission out today. And then that'll put me in a position to reorganize or to actually organize for the first time properly the squads. Um, this infiltration is 39%, so we do have a ways to go. We have a positive confirmation on an emergency signal coming from the All right. site of our most recent Ambush it is. Our team we'll do this instead. Firebrand is already en route. Did you honestly expect your operation as shadows? Your eyes still Yes, move. yes I did. I did expect. Okay, thank you. Um why does it just start us with one? We'll grab them. We'll grab... We could take the spark on this. It's a rescue mission. Maybe we bring the high-end soldiers. Um, so right now we've got an assault and a skirmisher. So let's not grab this assault. We can bring the sharpshooter. Um, who are you bonded with? Wheeler? So we could bring a second assault and a technical that are bonded. We could grab the, tep the Templar. Let's, I'm gonna grab the Templar. And then we have one slot left. We could actually just bring another assault. Mm, doesn't feel great. I mean, <clears throat> he's fairly different than the first assault. Let's see who you're close to getting bonded with. Big shot, sharpshooter. Maybe we grab the sharpshooter then. Try to get some more soldier bonds going. Let's do that. And then let's take a look at weapon upgrades. So you have an advanced laser sight and an auto loader. We'll switch this for an advanced, advanced auto loader, advanced laser sight. Not feeling stocks, not really feeling any other upgrades on him. Um, let's take a quick peek. So grenades. Yeah, let's get rid of the, the vest here for more grenades. That's good utility on him with the grenade bonuses. Flashbanger gets free flashbang. Packmaster. Okay, so he's already doing grenade shit, which is fine. Um, I feel pretty okay with this loadout. Do we want anything on the bullpup? Scope and an advanced auto loader. 
Don't feel the stock. Don't think the hair trigger matters that much either, so we'll save them for when they matter more. Uh, obviously, you don't get upgrades. Uh, what is this vest? Is that just an upgraded version? I can't I can't read past your shield, dude. Three ablative, two hit point bow, and this minus crit. Three ablative. Yeah, so it's just better. Okay. He has another utility slot. We could give him more HP. It's one mobility, but we get HP off of that. Health is at nine right now with three ablative. Oh, we should get somebody with a med kit too. Let's med kit the sniper. No, we'll leave the mobility here because he has a pistol too that's weighing him down. Um, let's give the sniper a med kit. We'll keep the flash. Flash and frag, flash, frag, flash. You know what? We'll diversify. We'll go frag here, actually. That way she can do some damage on the move. All right. And then your weapon upgrades. You have currently just an expanded magazine. We're going to upgrade that to an advanced expanded, at least. And then it might make sense to do the stock. Feels better on snipers than it does on those. Steady hands if you do not move, gain aim and crit, center mass, and rapid targeting. Free action. Yeah, okay. I don't like the stocks. Maybe that's just me. Um, but I do think if they're going to go on any gun, they go on the sniper rifles. So we'll give her an advanced stock. Because we do have them building up in our, our reserve. Fuck. Fucking fuck. I hit, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. Okay, you, you, and you. We are... Everything's still the way I want it? Yes. Great. Okay. Oh, I haven't been on camera this whole time. Oops. Because I have to do the little slidey thing that updates the OBS recording. Not a big deal, you don't need to see me. <clears throat> but I am here. Especially not when I'm not staring flabbergasted at my awful dice rolls and everything on, the, on a mission. Um, war wagon, eh? All right. So I assume this is gonna be like the we've seen in the past. Um, we just need to get the no people to the evac to point. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. But I am always a little nervous about these, um, because you start with a split formation. So these guys are sitting over here. Oh, it's three of them. Okay. So seven people on this mission. That's pretty nice. There's like a hole in the world. That's certainly something. All right, so we've got this building. We've got all this cover points here. Um, and the extraction point is way down here. So we could, we have no timer. We can take it pretty safe. Um, so my inclination is to creep along the edge of the map, do like an L formation type thing. Actually, it might be shorter to just go towards this edge. Um, I think it is. So let's move them forward here and we'll approach to the north. I could go... Yeah, I don't think we need to be super paranoid like going around this edge, so we can just start heading up in general. Um, let's have Death Nell go later because Death Nell can grapple here and there's some decent targets. Big shot. We could run big shot up to the ledge. Yeah, 
we'll save that for later too. So, if we want to go to this way, yes. So, you're a bad person to start with because you're tucked in the corner. Um, why don't you go there for eye cover? Gator, we're gonna go with later. We'll save the grapple for when it matters more. Um, you can't pistol over a lot. Well, shit, maybe we should try to get them moving to get closer. You know what? I think we should do that. So if we run you, we can run you all the way over here. We're actually close to meeting our, our mutual line of sight. Is this gonna fuck me over? I have a running gun available. I have a grapple available. And the Templar might be able to reach somebody. It only matters if we make um, contact. Why don't I move? I don't think I wanna sit in this position anyway because it's back. I think I wanna go over here. So why don't we just move to the base of the cliff? We can actually go over here or something. Actually, let's keep it, let's keep it this way, move, move, to this move. side of this hill. Got some here. Oh, there they are. They're right fucking on top of us. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. All right, that was not the position I was really expecting them to be in. Uh, you can actually get somebody, which is pretty good. The shield bearer, but without being able to get a kill. It'd be better to get a kill. Um, why don't you go to this position? Uh, we'll just overwatch these guys so we don't have to deal with them coming up in the rotation all the time. Let me figure out what the fuck we do here. Uh, so that's a shield bearer, so he probably puts up shields. I can't really get a good beat on this engineer guy in the back. Let's get a grapple out. You can grapple all the way over to here. Which doesn't get a flanking shot. Wait! His icon here is yellow. But if I do the preview, there's nothing. It's very confusing. Oh, is it that I'm flanked compared to him? Is that what that tells me? Is that I'm going to be flanked by him? I mean, we can move. We can probably flank down over over here. Okay, let's let's do this for the grapple, just to see, just a science. Oh no! Both pod. There's two pods right here. What the fuck? Okay, I'm flanked, but they're flanked. They can see me from back there. Oh, this sucks so fucking much. If we can kill this guy, we can fall back. Let them come to us. Look at this selection of grenades. That's wild. Okay, let's look at through our abilities here. What options do we have? To get death perception. Grenade slot. Standard additional action after a standard shot at a flanked or exposed enemy with your primary weapon cannot trigger on the same turn as close encounters. Yeah, so we can pop a grenade and then we can shoot and then we get a bonus action. Okay, let's do that. 
Can I get a frag up on both of these guys? That'd be really good. Um, to get the armor removed and to get damage up on the other one, I don't think it works. It almost does. I might be able to hit a grenade from somebody else too. Okay, I think we'll try and pull that off. So I think what we do is we grenade the shield master because we don't want him to shield now because that's pretty poor. So we do this. Get him shredded. Hopefully the Templar can kill him now. And then we take the flank shot, which gives us a bonus. Ooh, we get the kill on the crit. That's pretty damn good, too. Okay, so that gets us more options here now. We can actually get really cheeky. Let's let's delay that. Give me Scorch. We can kill the Shield Bearer, probably. And if we fail, we're at least in cover. Nice. And then we get the momentum move, right? Combat awareness scope. Good good loot. Yeah, so then we can fall back safely out of the way. Which I think we'll do to try and bait them towards us rather than give them targets to fire at directly. Then Gator, we can go take this guy out with a running gun. So we'll get over, I think just right to here should be pretty good. Roger that. Not making great use of the running gun, but I wanted to make sure we got the 100% accuracy. Okay, so we killed the first pot entirely. Which is good. Um, Death Nail has actually two actions remaining. So I could try and do cover and still get shots off. I can move here and I can shoot at one. And it's high cover. Two sectoids and a muton. It'd be I could just go to low cover and get a decent shot off. I don't feel good about that though. Actually, this is still elevated. We still get the elevation bonus on this lower level. Oh, that's a flank right there too. We'll take this. We'll take this. I think I think we'll be fine. We got armor, we got two ablative. Flank shot on the muton. We could flash. Flash the muton. I'm not so worried about the sectoids. I'm expecting them to do their usual sectoid bullshit. I could flash, actually, could we get all of them flashed? Then they'd just be taking shots. No, but we can flash the front too. Yeah, let's flash. That's the conservative play. We'll flash the front too. They'll have no good shots, they'll be penalized. It's kind of like stunning both of them at this point, I think, since we're in high. Like compared to the sector using a power, I think a, when we have no open targets, um, it's just more effective to flash the sectoid. Alright. Oh, there's a guy. Is he going to be seeing? I mean, I assume so. Contact. Yes. Uh, these guys should get fucked up. They're like right there. Okay. Almost completely fucked up. Okay, okay. So, give me the Templar. What can you hit? You can hit this guy. You can go and hit the Muton. Uh, might be useful. A big shots. Get you up here, you can't do fucking hardly anything. You actually have to run to reach that spot, which is very unfortunate. All right. Non-turn ending shot, we'll do this. I think this is good. Um, yeah. X-ray down. All right, and then you can move. Nothing here gets 
previews. Um, let's go to this spot. Maybe we can get a grenade up on something from here. Not quite. Getting close-ish. I guess we'll want to move that way. Well, we can jump through the fence here too. It doesn't really matter. I don't think we're likely to trigger another pod at this point, so... We'll just get these guys moving. We could run. We'll consider running to meet up. I'm not sure it matters. I, I, yeah, I don't really think we need to. Uh, we got a flank shot at long range. We might be able to get an arc pulse then. All right, let's see what we can do up here. 100% arc pulse in the muton. Yeah, absolutely. A thousand percent. Disable that fucker. Okay, so he's dealt with this turn. We just gotta take out the sectoids. Um, vert. I wonder. Wait, give me the Templar. Wait, what was. So the Templar, if we invert, we might be able to get a Sectoid. If we invert with a Sniper. Oh wait, this costs a... Does this cost an action, though? I mean, I assume it does. Which would actually make it not useful. I can't tell which one I can see. Uh, we can get that sectoid. Yeah, what am I? Oh, it's the zombie. The zombie I see is what I, if I go there. Um, we'll go around the edge. And we can hollow target the sectoid. Maybe get a grenade out. Let's go here. We still have cover. We'll see if we can do anything good with a grenade. I doubt it from this range, but maybe. Um, oh, wait. Wait, is that, I can't tell if that, that should be getting both. Yep, that is worthwhile, Grenada. I feel. We get the Muton shredded for next turn. Get some damage on the Sectoid. That's not bad. Not bad, all right. Death now. So this sectoid we damage is the one that has the zombie. I can move to here with two moves to take him out. Um, your partner, though, has gone. So I don't think I have any way to actually pull that off. Hmm... We can grenade and then just shoot and hold position. Grenade all three. Seems pretty okay. Uh, okay, minimal damage more or less, but you know. <sighs> you can get the muton. I can't I mean, have... We could just kill the muton. I might need to deal with that zombie. A chance to deal with the zombie. This is Overwatch. One hundred percent. Eighty-six. Sixty-six on the sectoid. That sectoid can probably flank the sniper if it wants to take a shot. We'll try to take out the sectoid on the 66. 
Okay. Oh, you... What? You can move? Wait, what lets you move? Is it after killing you can move? Which ability does that? You have so many abilities. Why is that one not coming up on the hover? This one probably, because it's got arrow. Uh, we can just do this. Ba -ba -ba. If you score one or more kills, you're going to a single bonus move. So, we can... I guess we could just go get loot. Um, there's no good cover points within that loot area, though. We can move over to this tree. I don't feel like that's worth doing either. I don't think I want to move. We can invert. <laughs> okay, let's... We run the Muton. She's very little. Because we're exposed. Let's invert. Oh, we can only invert with that person. Can't see this one. Um, it's not really worth testing then. I mean, we could invert to pull the sniper down. Invert, pull the sniper back so they don't get shot. I mean, it's just a sectoid that's up this time, though. It doesn't really matter. I guess we can just go random and move. I don't really want to move forward that much, though. Uh, we can get the loot and retreat. I'm just going to get the loot and retreat. Uh, I'm not even going to hit anything this turn. Laser sight, not a big gain. Why don't you go over here? Uh, we could have stunned. Whatever. Um, you can just sit. That's going to be attempt at mind control. We need emergency evac. Now, dude. Now. Not a big deal. Can't get to the other guy. Fine. Um, I'm going to move down here, I think. Double flank, but the pulse isn't up. That doesn't achieve much for us. One, there you can see both. I might want to go for the shot on the sectoid. We have a lot of opportunities to take out the muton. It's not as big of a threat. So we'll get up here so that we can get a hit on the sectoid. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I guess I could have... Teamwork and like double moved. 58, that's okay. I'll take a graze here. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, it puts it into an easy position to kill it later. Ooh, um, no, I don't think we have any other good options. Let's just go for the kill with the Templar then. Oh, we've got options up. All right, we can just go hide behind this tree or whatever. Probably as good a spot as any. Yeah. Actually, don't even know if the Templar gets cover appropriately. Uh, it looks like he's maybe. Yeah, yeah, he gets cover. You can see the icon. Just because he has, he can't hunker down. It confuses the fuck out of me. Um, do I sprint to get this person caught up more? I don't think so. I think seem like they're going pretty okay here. So I think we just overwatch these guys. Just keep that return fire ready to go. Um, can you get, you can see from there. But you won't be able to do shit. So maybe we just run you up here. Got it. Moving. 
Just get as much movement in as we can get. My stupid ass sectoid is uh, very confused. Wow, good job. Um, give me rapid targeting. We'll give the sniper a chance to get a kill here. She hasn't done too much. 61%. You know what? If you make the shot, good for you. Nope. All right, you tried. Come on, focus. Seems doable. What's over there? Templar, you can go for it. Uh, you do have it. So that's fine. Has the advantage of us getting the loot right away. Corn and auto loader. I'll take that. And the momentum actually is pretty good too. Back behind your tree. All right. So let's just get uh, some overwatches. Uh, I guess we'll just hold this position. I await their bringing in reinforcements. Are they? I mean, we always it always says reinforcements are imminent. Um, we can just get them moving at like maximum distance towards the evac point without being so concerned about cover, or we just move this way. And you know what? This is actually okay. We can move. Um, yeah, th this is fine. Whatever you we'll say. keep them in cover, just in case. All right, I'll go. Let's get them all kind of meeting Seems up on that cool. edge, then. Covering now. Just because. That way, the dro if we do get a reinforcement drop, hopefully it comes down near us, um, instead of like on one side of the extended group. Could do some science with the Templar. I think I might do that next round just to understand how invert works exactly. Okay, we do get a reinforcement pod then. We'll save the Templar for last and then I can play with invert if I want. Assuming these guys even survive the return fire, the covering fire. The Overwatch fire. That's third time's the charm. Well, they did all come down on that side of the map. It's only two dudes. They should get fucking obliterated here easily. Uh, are you okay? He seems very confused by his life. Nice, nice pistol shot for one damage. All right, um, no, the Templar can hit him, so just start taking some shots, I think. Reload. Free reload for you. Yeah, we'll start with these guys up on the ledge. Give me the sniper first. Can you get a kill this mission? Yep, good job. <laughs> you see that? Okay. Uh, yep, get moving. I can handle that. I'm going. No problem, boss. Okay, so right now you have two two actions left. If we invert with, I don't know, sure. For science. That does take up our movement action. That's a little rough. I'll keep a watchful eye. Come get some. Scanning. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. 
Yeah, just provide covering fire from up here. That's fine. Start getting everybody back more. I'm on it. Solid copy. Seems doable. I hope it's worth it. I'm going. I will watch. No one gets by me. Overwatching. Come get some. Come get some. No point of reloading prematurely. Good to go. Just keep playing it safe on the retreat here. I'm going. There's no reason not to. I think I just put you out in the middle of nowhere. Whatever. You'll be fine. I can handle that. Watch order confirm. My senses are keen. Come get some. Actually, we might want to stop moving the people on the top of the hill a little bit more, but whatever. We don't need to do it this round. I'm guessing that actually means the over or, uh, reinforcements are actually coming this time. Um, Alright, let's get the sniper into a new position over here. We'll do a grapple over to something more near the evac point. Since we're not going to need it for anything else, we might as well. Uh, might as well just keep them kind of near the rest of the group. No one will slip past. Come get some. I'm on it. Scanning. I'm on it. Watch the flash. They're moving. Come get This is a two damage graze and it kills. We can get these people moved to evac and just start taking some shots. Let's get the Templar over here somewhere for a pistol shot. Oh, he can actually probably do a Volt. Two to four, only on him? Really? 9187. Um, that's not gonna do shit to the Mac. So I guess we might as well just vault. Now your suffering really begins. Pretty poor. Give me Actually, yes, give me yeah, you know what? Death Knell can go first. That's fine. Okay. Uh, sniper. Sniper. You can go probably do a hollow targeting. Oh, that's going to be a sprint for you, though. Um, you can go to the evac point. I mean, we could just kill the Mac. It doesn't even have cover. I mean, it's like combat experience, right? Why not? 
Yeah, so let's get them just moving towards the evac point. Target preview none? How do you not have, how can you not see that anywhere? What? What? She can't even see it anywhere in her blue movement? Oh, she can see it from here. Oh, we can rapid target. Boosted cores. Not even sure what that does. Really? One? Oh, I never actually hollow targeted either. Whoops. Whoops! Big whoops. Big whoopses. Alright, uh, give me the hollow targeting. Oops. All right, then you can get in the evac zone. Let's do this. Done. Wow, good job destroying our own cover. Wowie. Um, why don't you just leave? Why don't you just leave? On the move. I'm gone. And the rest of you can go too. Copy that. I hope it's worth it. A Copy successful that. mission. Uh, we got one hit. And given how the pods activated, I feel pretty good about that. That worked out really well. Members of Wraith One have been successfully evacuated. Yes, flawless, excellent. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts. All right, so I guess the infiltration mission will be next episode. All right, so there can be no other path for us. free action high cover point. Bonus aim and crit chance for every point of focus or sustain. Also 24 soldier AP here. Um, starts with one charge and is a free action. Interesting. I don't like any of those. Um, full kit grants plus one charge per grenade item in a utility slot. I mean, Cutthroat seems fucking amazing here. Look at this. Three defense, five dodge per enemy you can see. That's insane. Okay, so we do this. I mean, we go full melee with this Templar. Which means we go overcharge, probably. Ah, sustains. Sustain feels good too, though. Ah, we gotta go. We gotta do overcharge if we're doing some melee smashy smash. Oh, that took soldier AP points. I didn't even realize. Um, we still want it. Do I go for cutthroat? Using up a bunch of XCOM AP. I don't think I can justify using that much. I was going to do Cutthroat. But since their abilities cost AP, I missed that. Yeah, they all cost AP. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, we won't be doing that. Whiplash, damn good ground. What is already giving us elevation bonuses? I mean, I think we want damn good ground on this character. I am really curious. I thought there was already an elevation ability. Maybe they have, um, maybe I give them an elevation PCS. Defense and a point of armor went on overwatch. Interesting. Scope suppressors, cores, good stuff. Good stuff. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon okay. to the reason. So we got this finished. We won't deploy a new one right away. We'll we'll wait until we finish the infiltration and I can actually do squads for once. Um, if we have the soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert act. Yes, we, we should, we should, but We'll pretend that we're worried about something happening and we want our soldiers available, um, even though that's not what it is. Okay. So, um, the, yes, death knell. Yes, death perception PCS. So it makes perfectly good sense to also have um, traits. That's the uh, negative traits. Ah, uh, yeah. So it makes perfect sense for them to have that um, as a plan making. Suppression. We could give them the... Wait. Let me read this PCS again. When on Overwatch. Yes, yeah, so that probably doesn't work with suppression. Uh, we do have a few Overwatch-based soldiers. Fear of missed shot. Chance to panic when missing a shot. Uh, so yeah, somebody has Overwatch abilities. I know they do. You have damn good ground? Interesting. Interesting. Ever vigilant. Great automatic Overwatch shot when all of your actions are spent on moves. Uh, you have a PCS for will, though, so you're fine. Fear of Max. We've got a few different negative traits that are building up here. Um, your grenades. Suppression center mass, aid protocol, sentinel. When in Overwatch, you may take two reaction shots. You seem like a uh, well, defensive bonuses to Overwatch doesn't necessarily synergize there. Hmm, covering fire. Aim malice and enemies not be true by any enemy action. Uh, he's probably a prime candidate. He's got more stuff along the way there. Um, we'll give him combat awareness. All right. And we'll leave this episode here. Until next time.